Chapter 3 Trance I was still pretty shook up from the last level when I started Trance. Trance's map music did nothing to ease the tension. As for how to describe it, um... Have you ever heard the theme from Videodrome? That's the, that's the closest thing I can think of to compare it to. I checked to see who the new monster was. And it was Orga. A monster who didn't even make it in the film debut until 2000, appearing in a game made in 1988. So much for my theories about Titanosaurus and Bioanti. There was no way this game was made in 1988. Those guys in Toho may have been smart, but I'm sure they couldn't see that far into the future. If they could, they would have never given Ronald Emmerich the rights to make a Godzilla movie. No, this, this had to be a hack of some kind. Which is, which just opens up even more questions. Who, who made this hack? When? How? And, and most importantly, why? The why was the question that bothered me the most. My immediate assumption was to think that Billy did this to pull a joke on me. But that couldn't be right either. Billy didn't know how to make a ROM hack. And if he did, he'd probably just do something simple and stupid, like replace all the monsters with crudely drawn genitalia. Unless Billy had amazing game editing skills and a serious dark streak to his imagination that he never told me about, he couldn't have made this. Is it even possible to put a hacked ROM into a cartridge? Aside from that, my eyes were drawn to a new icon on the map. A question mark. I was really curious, curious as to what it did. I'm sure you're also curious. So I'll explain the quiz levels and now, since this was when they started appearing. There was one of these per map on here, from here on. And they always appeared near the start of the map. When you start on a quiz level, you appear on a screen like this. As you can see, there's a question at the top, a yes, no, but a yes and no button, and an emoticon at the center. I refer to this emoticon as face real creative i know and for convenience i'll refer to face as the one asking the questions the music for the quiz levels was a track actually in the game it's the one that plays when you try to use the Ghidorah cheat and get sent to an unplayable level Face asks you 12 yes or no questions, and you move your monster to the buttons for your answer. When you answer, the question disappears and Face changes his expression for about eight seconds, and then he goes back to neutral, and a new question comes up. There was no time limit, nor any right or wrong answers. Face had no respect for the player's personal boundaries and will sometimes ask deeply disturbing personal questions. For example, do you like hurting people? Have you ever killed or raped anyone? Have you ever been molested by a family member? Other times he would ask questions that were either mind-numbingly Stupid, is the sun hot, is water wet, or just flat out ridiculous, does your dog like the president? And maybe once per quiz, 
face would ask you a question like that about the ask you a question about the game. With one exception, faces expressions change change expression changes seem to have no effect on the game except for indicating what the creator thought of your answer. His reactions rarely made sense, and at first I thought they were randomly generated. The questions never followed a pattern. Face never stayed on the same subject for more than two questions. Early on, there were questions that made me think Face was building up to something, only then it asked some stupid garbage. Here are the expressions of face that I saw while playing. I'll separate them into two categories. The expressions I understood, and then the expressions I didn't. First are the expressions I understood. Number one, neutral, his default position. Expression. Number two, angry. If you try to attack face, his expression changes to this, but nothing else happens. Number three, sad. Number four, happy. Number five, sick. Number six, maniacal. Face made this expression when he was being an asshole. You'll see what I mean later. Number seven, surprised. Number eight, love. Number nine, annoyed. Number 10, confused. Number 11, guilty or hurt. And here are the others. Two of these only appeared once, number one, numbers one and 12. And I suspected they might have been in jokes from the creator. Their respective questions were, do you like ice cream and are you a tough guy? As for the questions on the first quiz, luckily I had a notepad and pen handy. I have problems remembering things, so I often carry one around just to dot, jot things down. And sometimes I doodle in it when I'm bored. So when the first quiz started, I thought I'd record what happened. I'm glad I did. Here are the first series of questions, my answers, and faces reactions. Quiz one. One. Do you like this game? Answer, yes. Reaction, happy. Well, question two. Are you afraid? Answer, yes. Reaction, surprised. Question three, are you over 18? Answer, yes. Reaction, weird face five. Do birds have teeth? Answer, no. Reaction, love. Or question five, is peanut butter good? Answer, no. Reaction, sick. Question six, does the moon rotate? Answer, yes. Reaction, weird face number 11. Question seven, have you had a job? Answer, yes. Reaction, confused. Question eight, do you like hurting people? Answer, no. Reaction, annoyed. Question nine. Is the sun hot? Answer, yes. Reaction, sad. Question 10, do you like dogs? Answer, yes. Reaction, happy. Question 11, is the president good? Answer, yes. Reaction, weird face three. Num question 12. Does your dog like the president? 
Answer, no. Reaction, angry. Now that I've explained all of that, time for the gameplay. After the quiz level, I tried the new green temple icon first. Wow. Maybe this was why the game was so weird. One of the developers was clearly drugged out of his mind. <laughs> Jokes aside, I am I was quite impressed by the graphics of this level, as disorienting as they were. But I hate those creepy, blank staring statue faces. The music had a hypnotic Indian techno vibe to it. There were two new enemies in this level. A flying ghost type thing with a trunk and a bat with a horse skull for a face. I appear at random, but I was lucky enough to get a screen cap of both of them. Then I proceeded to a blue mountain level, expecting another nice, calm stroll. I took my time walking, though, as I was completely taken by surprise when this happened. Not Magera came speeding towards me and took off quite a bit of health with his tentacle screws. It, it only took me, it, it took me two minutes. It only took me two minutes to kill him without having to worry about a time limit, but the boss monsters never show up in the scrolling levels in the normal game. I was worried as to what other rules this game would break. After another blue mountain stage, it was time to fight non not Varan, whose replacement was one of the most bizarre creatures in the game. This strange creature attacks you by kicking and also opening its chest and firing heat-seeking missiles. Yeah, I, st I still don't get it. Um, the missiles were sometimes a pain to deal with, but I found out you can tail whip them out of the way. Not Varan is probably the easiest of the monster replacements. That cannot be said. The same could not be said for Not Hedera. Apparently the source of the horse bats, Not Hedera was the most aggravatingly difficult monster to fight yet. Mostly because of his special ability. He could shriek and summon a small swarm of those horse bat things. I know there's only two in the screen cap, but every time he did this, about ten would arrive. The AI took advantage of the distraction and attacked twice as fast while the horse bats were flying around. Once that annoyance was over with, uh, I went through the Green Temple level to kill some enemies to restore my health. Interestingly, none of the horse bats showed up after Nahidaru was killed. And that was when I got an idea. If killing all the monsters made the red face show up, what would happen if I had avoid fighting Orga and go straight to the base? So I gave that a try. The game told me that there was no monster there when I tried to start the base level. And immediately afterward, the game took control of my Godzilla piece and moved it in front of Orca. My little trick didn't work, so... I tried to prepare myself for another chase, but first... I had to beat Orga. The fight with Orga confirmed another thing. Whoever created this game hack was clearly a Godzilla fan, not only because they picked a monster like Orga, but because they actually implemented something that happened in Godzilla 2000 in a really neat way. 
Uh, Orgo's primary Mary attacks were a punch and a heat beam from his shoulder cavity. But once you, but once you had got him down to half his health, he did something new. He would expand his jaws and try to swallow Godzilla in the process, stealing your health and energy. But in doing so, he gave himself a new weakness. Firing a heat beam into his mouth would take a devastating four bars off his life meter. With that weakness revealed, I soon beat Orga, and despite how much I hoped otherwise, the red face appeared on the map where the base was, and the music stopped. I readied myself as best I could. I started the level and seeing that it was basically the same as the first, I didn't waste a millisecond before I started hauling ass. I soon encountered obstacles in the form of the ground tile suspended in the air. Most of them you could jump over or destroy. Others you had to crouch under. About 40 seconds into it, I heard this horrible bellowing roar and saw that spider beast following close behind me. Stacks of obstacles barely slowed it down. It went back up and then charged its way through them, smashing them to bits. And when the smaller obstacles got in the way, it would expand his jaws and swallow them whole. I was afraid, but fast thinking and faster button pressing, but with fast thinking and faster button pressing, I escaped him yet again. I felt really excited. And so I laughed and said, not this time, asshole. I decided to take a screen cap to celebrate. But when I said that sentence, just before the level ended, the monster did something that made my blood run cold. It looked at me. That wave of mortal terror overtook me again. And I sure as hell wasn't laughing anymore. I took another screen cap of the next title. Right before I rushed, I rushed to the bathroom to splash some water on my face. And I take a piss that I nearly failed to contain when that fucking thing looked at me.